Hello, I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you're just going. Please, before I start, like if you like, share, subscribe, and comment too, so the algos could circulate my video. This is a presentation for both the S&P 500 and gold and precious metals. Okay. What involve, which involves uh, also some Forex uh, analysis. Beautiful. What we have here, we have the equity put to call, the price action. And we had a major shift in sentiment in the put to call, the option market. And this resulted in a bearish disco combo in the daily time frame that worked 100% of the time, sometimes briefly, sometimes it's not, but usually results with an increase in the equity market. The percentage is 100% of the time. The question is how long? Beautiful. You could look at it in your own time and you can see its success rate. So this is the daily time frame. The weekly time frame also gave the same signal which also resulted in major rallies, the bearish disco combo for the put to call, the equity put to call, which is the bullish thing for the equity market. 100% of the time, the question is how long? So what happened last week? We had a major shift in sentiment of almost 36%. And we are in a very bullish ratio at 52 so this is this always 100 percent of the time effect trading in the market good deal so that was the equity protocol in the daily and weekly time frame i talked about the bearish disco combo beautiful the vix so I, i'm still doing sentiments because it, it always affect trading all the time how we feel and what where we think the market is going and usually the super analysts make their decision and we are the herds and we follow them we try to make money off of them we're good for nothing good deal so this is the vix and as i tweeted to the two people maybe one sometimes that uh, the people have that confirmation bias and they only follow you when you agree with them Ah, oh, I feel cheap. Thank you for making me feel that cheap. Thank you. All right. So this is the VIX, and we do have a bearish disco combo in the VIX. And we got lower in the RSI, which intensifies the bearishness in the VIX and the bullishness in the equity market. What is the percentage of this shift in the VIX that resulted? in a rally in the equity market 100 percent how long we have to see wait and see we don't know the future but in the past this setup resulted a, a, a rally in the equity market 100 percent of the time you can see it on your own time as a matter of fact uh the current current bottom is 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 uh re, it happened after one of these uh signals so I talked about the equity protocol, and I talked about uh, the VIX. All right, let's see if it have any changes in the weekly time frame. All right, so what I see here, I see a reversal in a form of an evening star. You have a white candle, and you have a smaller body with tail. Sometimes you don't have to have tail. And a confirmation, even though this one is not really a classic one, because you had high a high. But the whole concept, the psychological concept, you have bullishness in the VIX, then indecision, then reversal. So it, it, the, the, you don't have to follow the definition of, of, uh, uh, of evening star. You just follow the psychology of evening star. So this is definitely in the price action as the psychology in the evening star. So you have bullishness with a gap indecisiveness and reversal in the price action in the weekly time frame okay, let's see how much you, we went down 10 percent. that's a lot that's a lot that is a lot as a matter of fact we were at 2750 
So we, we went down that much when it comes to last week's uh, closing. So if you factor in this week, it's almost 20%, at least eight, 17%, okay? And we have that KISS formation I always talk about. You, 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 uh, you have a bearish uh, MACD in the uh, weekly that really call the bottom. Notice that. So you have a, a quasi uh, a bullish crossover, but you missed it and you kiss and you go down. So this is um, a really uh, indicative of a higher low in the market. You make your, your first low, you try to test it, and now hopefully now you succeeding in the equity market and you failing in the VIX. And also the RSI went below 50 and usually when you go when you can't hold 50, you go down, bad things happen for the VIX. Good thing happened in the equity market. So talked about equity protocol, uh, daily, weekly, VIX daily, weekly. Let's talk about EURUSD. All right, let's do that. And uh, what happened in the EURUSD? Uh, you have a pattern that worked 100% of the time and affected everything positively. You have a bullish disco combo and a breakout in uh, in the bullish wedge that affected and you if you put them uh, on the top of each other let's say if you put the S&P uh, with this uh, euro USD on top of each other you will see in the last two years this would result in a, an equity rally and also if you do, do that in, in gold and silver and GDX the same thing will give you things so what, what happened here you have a you have a, a low right here and a lower lower in the price action for the URSD and you have a low and a higher low in both the MACD and its histogram okay and you have also a bullish uh, a mini uh, bullish divergence in the stochastic good deal so what I see here I see a breakout and this bullish wedge I see a disco combo and uh, we, we, we have in size of candle, but we, we might have, we, we might go up or test the trend line. Either way, we are bullish right now. And usually when you have a low and a higher low in uh, the MACD like that, it shows accumulation. It shows that uh, more people are buying the dips, even though the price is going down. And also, if you look at the cot report you would see the commercials now are net long in euro uh, usd and that's what the macd is telling me anyway so what does that mean the banks are buying the euro usd they think it is under value and they they've been buying it up and this bullish divergence in the macd shows that okay uh, and this states what i just uh, uh, talked about uh, that if you put this on the top of any other chart such as the Dow, S&P, Gold, GDX, you would see this setup always affect them bullishly 100% of the time but we don't know how long so it's definitely a major uh, buying signal 100% no doubt about that so daily time frame let's look at the weekly time frame so the weekly time frame, uh, what do I see here? I see uh, what, what we call a, a bear trap or reversal week. You have low, lower low, and definitely a lower low. And you made a lower low with a sentiment really went so, so much negative. Then you reversed a week and you closed uh, over uh, the body of the uh, last week. And also, you close the body over the last two weeks. It's definitely good. It could, it could have been a morning star if we did not test the low, but it's the same psychology. As I, as I said earlier, you don't have to follow. That's the problem with memorizing things and don't understand them. You, so you understand the psyche or the psychology of the evening star, and you can apply it to anything. If you look at the Japanese candles, you don't have to follow the definition. So... Bearishness, indecisiveness, and reversal, even though you made the lower low. This is a bull trap, uh, a bear trap, which makes it really, really important. So uh, I plotted 
uh, a trend line here in the MACD, and you, you have so many so many kisses here, so these highs, lower highs, lower highs. And you, it's not impossible if you go up uh, one and a half percent next week, you will have a positive uh, bullish uh, MACD. And when you have that, that means a change of direction. So sometimes when you break a downtrend, you change the direction. And uh, uh, the opposite is true. When you break an uptrend like here, you change the direction. Capish? Good deal. So this is the MACD in the weekly time frame. Also, yeah, uh, and this is a Euro USD. Same thing. I just wanted to show how much close is uh, the MACD of being of having that bullish uh, MACD in a weekly time frame. See how much it's extremely close. And the more you do these kisses, the more probable you'll have a solid uh, bullish uh, MACD. No one knows the future, but the probability are really on the side of the uh, of the. Uh, of the MACD. It's like you're trying to break a door. You, the more you, you hit it, the more probable that you're going to break that door. Good deal. URSD. This is the UUP, the ETF for the dollar. And this is the daily time frame. And I didn't plot that, but we have a break in a bearish wedge. So you could do it here. Look, you can plot it. And it's confirmed. It's like what we had in USD. We have it in the, in the UUP, the ETF for the dollar. Okay? And the most important thing, as I talked about, if you are one of the two people that follow me or watching the videos, I talked about the embedded reading, and it's always really, if the stochastic is as embedded, I don't even look at the candles. I get terrified and get the heck out. And now we, we lost that stochastic uh, embedded reading. Not only we lost it, we had a negative divergence right here, which makes the uh, retracement even uh, stronger. Okay. Once we have this uh, bearish disco combo, I think the price retracement would intensify. And it, we have it in the URSD, which consists of 40% of this. Uh, dollar bull uh, ETF. So you could follow uh, the Euro USD, and if it's bullish, this thing would be bearish, and it, ha it has a weight of forty uh, percent. This is the weekly time frame, and we do have a, a one black crawl, uh, a bearish candle. We had we went to all time high in the EUP, not the new USD which is the ETF for the dollar bull. And we reversed and we lost the high reading in the RSI. And if you see the past, 100% of the past, 100% of the time in the past, when you lose that uh, overbought uh, retracement takes place, sometimes severe. And you could do it on your own time. Last December, 2021, uh, mid-May, uh, mid-July and now we are in the beginning of September so you do the probability in the past and the same thing happened in March 2020 same thing happened in August 2018 okay so we don't know the future but we could use the price behavior of the past and we can predict the future it's only speculation but most of the times it works especially if it's 100% of the time like this one so 100% of the time it's going to trace, but we don't know for how long. That's why we got to watch the price action. S&P. All right. So this is the S&P uh, 500. And it's always beautiful when you have a gap and that gap goes in that direction. It shows decisiveness. And not only that, we have a Marbuzu, which is not a, a very... Um, common uh, bullish candle uh, you, when you have uh, an opening and the opening is the low of that day and you go up and you close near the high last time this happened was in uh, in July 27th and that happened 
And before that, it was July 15th and that happened. And before that, <laughs> this one did not work. It worked today. Actually, no, it worked. It worked. Uh, June 24th. It worked because we had high a high in the weeks after. So it did work. Sorry about that. This one did not work. Oh, there he is. Okay. So most of the time, this one works. This Marbuzu. And sometimes it doesn't. But it is definitely something you uh, take a note of. So you have a gap and a Marbuzu. And that's definitely a bullish thing. And also, you lost that embedded reading. I, when the stochastic and embedded state, whether it's oversold or overbought, I really am always out. I'm afraid of momentum traders. So when this bad boy is an oversold like this, momentum traded, traders sell any rally and vice versa for the overbought, okay? And now we have a beautiful, Absolutely buying signal. It is definitely a buying signal when the RSI uh, comes f uh, from this low reading and closes over 50. It is definitely a low reading, especially if you did not go all the way to oversold. And this happened 100% of the time in the past. Last time this happened was in July 18th, and the rest is history in May 20. Don't embarrass me here. This one did not work perfectly, <laughs> but most of the time it really it predicts rallies. That's why we don't know the future, and sometimes it gives us, oh, God, this is beautiful signal. Sometimes it doesn't, okay? But uh, there is no reason to be bearish when you have this bullishness. So if you're selling short now, you really have issues. You really do, because this is bullish, especially if you understand the psychology of embedded reading. A lot of people sold with a loss here. Okay, so they try, they, they, once it goes up like that, they have FOMO, fear and missing out. They try to reclaim their positions. It's all about behavior finance. It's all about psychology. So if you're selling the market short, you really are an arrogant, you know what. Good deal. I'm not trying to put you down, God. Uh, God. I'm not trying to, but, but, but really, you really have no reason uh, to, uh, to sell short now. Like uh, well, when I sold my position with modest... Uh, loss because i'm not arrogant things turned uh, against me and i sold that's what i'm saying with you selling short right here you're being arrogant sorry to offend you i love you <laughs> this is the s p in the weekly time frame okay so what we have here we have one white soldier again uh, don't try to, to define it precisely it's the same as bullish engulfing it's the same as the whole psychology. You, you uh, because of the Japanese candles, all they talk, most of the talk about uh, about the open and close. But it's the same psychology. You have a red candle, and you open or uh, you you trade uh, lower than the previous candle, then you close above. Also, you close the off the high too. So. It doesn't have to be a one white soldier or a bullish engulfing. You just understand the psychology of that thing. Okay? So this is definitely a bullish candle. It came with low, higher low, high, higher high. And now we have higher low. So by definition, we really are working on uh, an uptrend. If you're selling the market short again, you're delusional. I'm not trying to. Hurt your feelings. I really am not. I sold with loss. You have to you have to take a loss, buddy. If he's trading, you have to take a loss. Okay, good. Uh, and this is the perfect case scenario. Whenever you have a beautiful bullish MACD in the weekly time frame and you test it and and, and you have once we have a bullish MACD in the daily time frame for the SP, this is a perfect case scenario. Uh, the stars are aligned in the daily and a weekly. You have you're uptrending good deal so s p daily weekly silver that's the way daily okay let me do the daily what is wrong with me man silver are uh, uh, silver is in the bullish disco combo mode and it's definitely definitely very bullish same thing this is the daily weekly weekly have the same psychology as s p and with the bullish divergence but you need to 
go over 20 because we are an embedded state in the weekly time frame. Okay, good deal. We understand that. This is a goal, uh, GLD ratio to uh, Newmont, and we definitely uh, in a bullish mode in Newmont and bearish mode in this ratio. When we have a bearish mode in this ratio, a healthy gold rally takes place. Here we have a bearish disco combo and a continuation of bearish MACD, I guess. And now we we go th uh, through uh, the RSI. Once we go below 50, a major buy signal takes place in that ratio. The lower that ratio is, the healthier the gold rally. And to me, this is the only ratio I care about because you cannot have a gold rally without Newmont. All right, GDX, the same thing. You have a bullish disco combo. Beautiful. Uh, even the MACD, 100% of the past, in the past, and listen to this, you would have a rally if you have three, three uh, valleys, lower, low, lower, low, lower, low, a and the MACD shows accumulation, which is low, higher, low, higher, low, and now a bullish mode. In the past, this is a big deal. What is bad about this picture? We are definitely in seller zone we are below the 20 day moving average and at the uh downtrend line we might retrace from here but we might not but this is not bearish but i just wanted to be fair and mention the seller zone now this is gdx in a daily time frame let's look at the weekly time frame another beautiful reversal candle that took place in everything 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 same psychology same psychology and you missed the 30 level so same like everything goes in tandem now the stars are aligned for a beautiful uh, rally in the equity market and gold rally please like if you like share subscribe and do remember that disco is forever